All right, today I'm gonna show you how I made this sweet, awesome Iron Man helmet. Costed me under four dollars because the foam was pretty cheap and I think it was on sale too. Um, anyways, uh, here's the measurements of my son's head just to get an idea. I'm gonna put a link below of the pattern I created. So if you have a similar size head, this pattern will work for you. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so you wanna get to cut the pattern out and then place it on the foam pieces, uh, the right colors to the right pieces, of course, and then rotary cut, oh wait, not rotary cut, exacto knife cut, exacto knife cut the shapes out. Then after that, you're just going to want to start gluing the pieces together. So there's some yellow pieces that are going to be glued to the red parts and then some that are just going to be separate so that they can move up and down. So it's the top forehead part, the eyebrow part, underneath the eye, and then the side round pieces that are going to be glued together and separated from the red part. Okay, then you're going to rotary cut the, not rotary cut, man, why do I keep saying that? Exacto knife cut the red pieces out. Make sure they're all kind of clean edges. You can go back with some scissors to make sure things are straight and stuff. And then you're going to assemble that and hot glue it together as well. So as you can see, the pieces kind of fit like this. The round circles kind of go on top of each other, pointed backwards or inward. All right, after you hot glue, after you hot glue all the red pieces together, set that aside, and then you're going to glue, hot glue, the yellow chin part to the red chin part, and there's then two small pieces that go on the side of those chins that are yellow that you're going to glue on as well hot glue the chin part. Okay, so now it's time to attach the face mask onto the red helmet part. And you're gonna cut out this kind of T-shaped piece out of red and then a strip. Now this strip you're going to glue onto the top part of the helmet in the back, of course, and you're gonna glue on just on two sides. You're not gonna glue all the way across. This way, the T part's gonna go fit right into it, and it'll be able to slide the mask up and down the T part. Okay, now you're gonna attach this red piece to the top part of the helmet, and glue it all down. Then you're going to cut a red strip and tuck it into the back part of the helmet and glue that in, so there's no openings. Now you're going to just attach Velcro pieces to the corners of the bottom of the mask, the top part of the mask, and also the side part of the mask. That way when it's down on the face you can easily velcro it around the helmet. Strips of black foam and then you're going to tuck them inside and they're going to go all the way around the helmet part. Okay, after you glue the black strips to the inside face of the mask, you're going to also cut out a black strip and put it where the slits were on top of the head of the helmet and you're going to hot glue it making sure that you're able to still slide the mask up and down. To add more detail you could paint this helmet. I painted it a darker red and then added some black watered down paint after that to make it kind of dirty and rustic looking and let that dry and you're done. I love it, Mom. I am an Iron Man. Pew, 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 pew. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos like this. I'm so excited for the new movie coming out, The End Game. It's going to be freaking awesome. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.